Alright, well, first step uh, here today, we're going to do the first few stages of building this engine, as I said, for the playlist. And the first part we've got to do is put the pistons together. So we'll time lapse that uh, and get on to the next stage very soon. I did find it fairly easy. I did find it very useful when you are uh, to cut off just the little burrs I guess left on when you take it off the plastic. Kids, if you're doing this, you probably don't need to need to do it, but I like to make it nice and slick. I just don't know what difference it's going to make, so I'm going to do it up front. I see that this is grey plastic. I probably like them to be a little bit more shiny. I may be a chrome. I may paint it at a later at a later date. What we do is we'll put all the engine first together and then we will see what I can paint and what will look cool. Slot that in there. And it all clicks together. Nice and solid. Very cool. Got them all done. So you can see, or hopefully you can see there, they're all actually labelled. This one says number four, so this is the fourth piece and the fourth step. What we're going to do is we're going to put these onto the crankshaft. Now I've taken a lot of them off just to help with uh, the timing process of it. We'll put them on there. We should have the cams on a crankshaft which is probably the most vital moving part and an awesome step. So here we have the crankshaft. Actually very quite realistic actually. Um, it's nice big chunky, nice and solid like, like you'd have on a real crankshaft here. Uh, we're going to attach the pistons uh, and the crankshaft um, along here. Uh, we're going to use some of these bearing caps. So again, very, very realistic actually. Uh, very similar to what you what you see. Now I've, I've sorted them all out, and we've got the screws. So very small screws here, and we're going to give it a shot. You know. Might as well see what the uh, the toolkit does. Um, this screwdriver. Yeah, we'll see how it we'll see how it goes. Oh, it's magnetic. Oh, even better. It's one of the things I was worried about. Screw one in. Very cool. Now what you actually see there is what I did was I threaded it in ever so slightly. Because it's plastic and because it's moulding, you know, you should have proper threads on a real one. But because this is plastic, we almost have to recut our way in. So what I do is, you know, a turn in, two turns out, three turns in, two turns out, three turns in, turn it back out a bit, and then... It should actually be quite nice and snug. Now that's pretty cool. 
I am going to change the screwdriver. Um, it's not too bad. I guess you can do with it. So we've got a little bit of a, an edge here as well that you can use a spanner on to make it tight. But we don't want to with plastic models. We don't want to force things in there. So like I said, turn out and then turn it back in. Turn it out again. Turn it back in. Um, and just use the screw to cut its own thread into the plastic. Um, and look, that's fairly solid. Let's put the other ones on. Having my own screwdriver here did help a lot. A little bit more leverage on the screwdriver. Um, I can put pressure on this one. It's got a turny bit at the end. Good old Stanley one. Fairly common for my RC. Although my RC does use a lot of hex screws. But it did help a lot more than having the one that's here. Uh, the one that comes with the kit you can use it, it's just going to be a little bit longer, um, a little bit more frustrating and a little bit more difficult. But there we go, we have all of the cam shaft done. Oh, that shouldn't flick over like that. I have to see what, what that does. Um, and now we're ready to make it happen. So before we can put the crankshaft and the cylinder block in, we need to put what is here is the oil pan or the sump pan as you may know it. Um, look, it's even got the detail of having the, uh, the the drainage plug in there. That's pretty cool. I like that. Um, and this part is the bottom of the crankshaft. So that should sit in there. And we have four more screws to go in the bottom here just to hold it all together. One. Very cool. Now this is the little base that it comes on. So this is the stool, which is good because it's quite heavy actually, so it should help hold it down. I'm assuming that's the speaker and where the noise is going to come out of. Um, oh, there's the button. That's going to make it all work. So what it says is to put this on here, so which should work like so, I assume maybe this way. All right, it's going to be real cool. It's going to make it easy to work from. I like it. So now we put the pistons in there. Now this is something that you should know is that see how these are qu aren't quite on center. Obviously the crankshafts. Um, they have to, or the, sorry, the piston shafts have to be, they can't be on top of each other, so they have to be staggered like this. So what we need to do is make sure that these work the same way. So on mine, I have got all the front ones, if we call this the front, are on this side, and then all the other ones are on, on that side.
Okay, a little tricky, but not too bad, you know. Just take your time. I think it's smarter to start from one end and work your way down to the other end. Um, also try, you can do what I did and I flipped them all over and I put all these four in and then I just came back and went one to the other one. But that's pretty cool. And then what we simply do is we will join the two together. Like so. Should come together. Snap lock together. I wish it was that easy with a real engine, you know, but it wasn't too heavy. And there we go. That's pretty cool. I like that. Very cool. First stage is complete. We got the bottom half of an engine built, done. Took about 90 minutes, uh, an hour to 90 minutes, something like that. You know, I took a little bit of extra time, which I think is really, really important because you need it to be very, very smooth, you know. Um, you don't want to have any bit of plastic that shouldn't be there kind of rubbing against anything as your crankshaft turns or anything like that. So really take your time. I mean, you can always take it off, redo it, you know, if there's something that's sticking or something in there that's uh, sticky like that. But subscribe, share, and stay tuned for the next episode where we'll be working on the heads and the top half of the engine.